Today, both sides argued over whose riot it was, the demonstrators or the police, when both sides clashed over the 1 a.m. curfew at Tompkins Square Park this weekend. We had a police riot over the weekend at Tompkins Square Park, and individuals who were beaten and whose rights were violated should immediately file complaints with the New York City Civilian Complaint Review Board. Second, they should consult with lawyers. But what would the critics have suggested the police do as they were being pelted sporadically with rocks and bottles? The Civil Liberties Union suggested the police could have retreated, not an idea held dearly by many police commanders. But the mayor seemed to believe today that the police swung too many nightsticks and made too few arrests. I don't expect a cop to be a miracle person. But I expect the cop to understand we're not going to excuse it when they're not a miracle person and they give in to provocation. If you give in to provocation, you're going to be punished. If you're smart, arrest. I got my camera and I went to see what was happening. And um, Paul Garin is the amateur video photographer who took these tapes you have been watching of this incident. His tapes seem to show that not only did the police seem to single out people in the crowd who appeared to be guilty of no crime worse than verbal assault, but they also seem to have singled out Garin for taking pictures of that. One cop came up and just started swinging his club at me and hitting me on the legs, telling me to get off the van, and I just said, just give me a chance, you know, let me get down. Get me down! I'm getting down! I'm getting down! I'm getting down! I'm getting down. John Miller, News 4, New York. At least 15 complaints of police brutality have been filed already with the city.